Now this is my uh, Pat O'Brien Icon V or the Signature Series model as some people like to call it. Uh, this one here I believe is one of the favorite ones among the group. And this guitar here has uh, one of my other favorite headstocks on it, the Beast of course. I like the fact that the lettering on the truss rod cover is in red as well. It matches the rest of the guitar, even the logo is in red. And then that crown and lay on the first fret of that ebony fretboard. Large diamonds elsewhere. Some of you might have noticed that B stamped into the 23rd fret I did buy. This is a B stock. Saved like $350 on it and uh, plays just as good as an A stock guitar. And I still don't know what the hell is wrong with it. It uh, still looks great. So whatever deemed it a B stock is imperceptible that I can tell. And of course that EMG pickup and the Floyd Rose on this. And I'll flip the guitar over here so you can see the paint detail on the back. And it's got that uh, Fender style input jack on the upper horn there which is great. It's more ergonomic. As you can see the body is outlined in red just like the front is on the back. And it comes up to this uh, point here, crosses over, comes back out, and then the back of the headstock is lined just like the front. And it's got those Imperial Grover tuners on there that uh, everybody seems to love.